Hello, my name is Kyle Wright with the Mansfield Fire Department, and it's November. That means a couple things. Uh, first, it's No Shave November, so we're trying to bring awareness to the uh, National Firefighter Support, Cancer Support Network. And it also means that it's turkey time. That's the purpose of this video, is we want to teach you how to fry a turkey without burning your house down. Uh, apparently there's 4,300 structure fires a year that are related to people trying to fry a turkey incorrectly. Also, uh, there are people that get uh, injured and we don't want that to happen to you. So, uh, the things you're going to need, you're going to need a turkey obviously, and it does need to be completely thawed. That's a very important part. And you're going to need a pot that's big enough to put it in. And then we're going to walk you through all the steps you need to do this safely. Okay, our first step is we're going to make sure our turkey is completely thawed because if it is frozen when we put it in the hot oil, it will turn into a bomb. So we have ours completely thawed. We did that ahead of time. It takes about four days depending on the size of your turkey. We're going to drop it into our pot and then we're going to fill the pot with water so that the turkey is covered. What this is going to do is it's going to tell us how much oil we need to add and heat up for the next step. It will also let us know that we have a large enough pot to fry this turkey in. We left ours in the bag, that way the turkey doesn't fill up with water and we get a more accurate measurement. Okay, now that we have the turkey completely covered, we know we'll have enough oil and we know we have enough extra space in the pot that we can fry this turkey safely. So I'm going to take the turkey out, and now I'll we'll mark the side at the top line level of the water, and that way I will know how much oil to, fill it, to put in it, because overfilling with oil is one of the number one causes of fires. All right, we're ready to move on to step two. So things that we did off camera, we filled up our pot with oil up to our line that we made in step one. And we've already preheated our oil, so now we're moving on to actually frying the turkey. All right, our next step is we're going to turn off the fire. That's one of the most important things we can do. Uh, one of the most common mistakes people make is they drop the turkey in, either it's too full, the turkey's still a little bit frozen, but the oil gets on the fire and that's where things go wrong. So in order to eliminate that uh, potential from happening, we're going to turn our fire off. And then we'll lower our turkey in. We want to make sure we have some nice fireproof gloves for this. Or you can, if you have a helper, two people can use a, a broom handle or a stick to hold it as well. We're going to go nice and slow. Another important step we did off camera was we patted the turkey dry so it didn't have a lot of water on it. There's water going into oil if you've ever uh, fried anything before you've seen how that can be very reactive. And now we're ready to turn our fire back on. Alright, now we've got our burner turned back on and we're frying our turkey. So another tip is to never leave your fire unattended. Uh, always have someone while the oil's heating up. Uh, don't go back inside. Always have one some up out here watching. If you've got an ABC fire extinguisher nearby, that is also an excellent safety tip. Uh, just in case, at the very least, have your lid ready to go. And at this point, we're going to fry it for three and a half minutes per pound. And I hope this helps you have a nice, safe uh, frying of your turkey, and everybody has a good Thanksgiving.